second day on the island, and my whole day has been filled with nothing. Beautiful, sublime, peaceful nothingness. Which is quite interesting because it's quite fulfilling. <laughs> nothingness is quite akin to uh, total completeness, as far as I can tell. Basically sat there on that little deck, took some sun, got a little bit of color, now I'm sitting here on this hammock, reading my books, just enjoying life, you know? Between two coconut trees, just strewn flowers falling on my head. It's fucking beautiful, dude. <laughs> it's amazing. And I figured out that by the end of this trip, everything's gonna cost me under 100 US dollars. So me and a few friends here on the island are trekking up to the sunset point to check it out. We tried to make it yesterday but uh, that didn't quite happen. We went skinny dipping and <laughs> uh, drank instead. So today is our effort to actually do both. <laughs> Or all three. Is there a wild card number three? Hit the white three. Whoa! It just fell onto your hand. Ah. seriously kill me right now. In fact, I bet she's looking at the screen right now thinking, Tyler Roberts, get away from that water. Something like that. But she knows, she knows me too well to know. I gotta be here. Now actually my mom is kinda right, so I'm gonna step away for a moment and enjoy the sunset from afar before I kill myself. in the morning and the most intense lightning storm that I've ever been a part of is happening right now. It has been going on for probably the past 10-15 minutes. It's been raining all night but this lightning storm, it's like, it feels like it's right over our heads. And I keep waiting for like, oh my fucking lord. Woo! You see what I'm talking about? I need morning to come. My gorgeous view every time I wake up in the morning reminding me just how beautiful life is. So it's my final day here in Thailand and I survived the lightning storm of a lifetime. I extended my stay so that I could stay this extra day. I was supposed to leave this morning but I was like, hell no. Change my ticket, I'm coming back tomorrow. But I'll have left renewed and Actually, having found what I came to Thailand looking for, what I started this experience for, and what I always travel for, which is to find the different kinds of peace, love, beauty, joy that exist in the world. And I can definitely unequivocally say that I have found it on this island. And I'll be taking it home with the sunburn that's on my back. Which actually it turns out it's a good thing that I'm leaving tomorrow because carrying a backpack on my back does not sound pleasant right now. But for now, ladies and vagabonds, I will just be appreciating every moment now.
What do you got there? Get a plug. Perfect. Bucket of rum, lemon, and Oh, over here. I like I like how they gave you like enough straws because they're like I think this guy's gonna need to share this one. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and and you think you and uh, Lucy will be getting one of these buckets? Um. Well, we're gonna wait and see what happens to this this fellow. <laughs> it's a Thai tradition, though. Have you had one of these buckets before? No? Only in a glass. Oh no, you gotta get a bucket. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> Alright. All five straws you need in your mouth, all at once. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. That's the uh, traditional Thai style. So this, this, is, this will be like my goodbye drink after this, I won't remember anything. Right? <laughs> after this, the I'll wake up and I'll be on a ferry. You'll miss yeah. a ferry. Somewhere <laughs> with no eyebrows. Bangkok. <laughs> the same tomorrow drink. <laughs> that took more suction than I thought. Yeah. I'm gonna have to try that again. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Commence the blackout. <laughs> That'll help me digest. Who needs tea when you have a bucket? I wish I didn't have to leave. <laughs> You've been very kind. Those that know me would say that this is classic, but I'm I'm late. <laughs> I'm making the whole boat wait for me, so as soon as I walk on, they're probably gonna be scowling at me. But I will just beam all the love in the world into their hearts and see what happens. Oh, I don't want to leave this island. So much love for all these people that I met. It's just like when you start to look at the totality of the experience, you start to realize just how beautiful it is that all of our paths converged at this one singular place, you know? It makes it hard to leave, but you leave invigorated by the love that you get from a place like this and from people like this. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. <laughs> Alright. Onwards to Chiang Mai. And whatever adventures come next.